In this video, I will showcase all the features of Rion email verifier and how you can start using them for multiple use cases. There is a lifetime deal going around for this tool. So if you are interested, I will leave the link in the description. You can check it out. And we are directly coming into the app itself. The app is categorized into multiple different tasks or features as per usage. First, we have the overview screen. Overview screen, what it does it, it gives you a quick overview of everything what you are doing right now. Basically, it shows the daily credits which we are remaining, which shows that how many more emails we can still verify for today. You can see I can still verify another 476 emails right now. Instant credits are shown. Lifetime usage of the product is also shown. And we have a cool uh, graph of showing a uh, daily of how many emails we are verifying if you have just a single uh, email you want to verify you just type that single email address here so i have uh, typed a random email here so when i click on verifying it will go and start verifying this is obviously i wrote, typed an invalid email address i don't have this email address so it automatically found it as an invalid and it gives a score for that email out of 200 and it's doing uh, uh, multiple criteria on verifying that email so is it having a valid syntax which is correct is it disposable false role based mx expert it also look into mx records uh, smt inbox full capsule so based on all the different criteria it assigns a score and finally it gives me this email address which i have just uh, checked is an invalid one and you can also see the credit got reduced because i just now tested one email now let me go into the email verification tab this is where you can do bulk email verification uh, where you have two options here one is where you can just copy paste all the email address you have let's say you have a huge list of email address and you want to verify which are the valid emails so i can maximize uh, the opportunity to reduce spam when we are doing um, cold emailing or contacting a lot of de lead email address so you copy a list of email address like this here so you can just paste all the email address here and give a name also for task to identify so for me here so i can just do something like that and click on start verification when i do that you can see email successfully submitted and i can go into the task page i will just click on stay here because we can do the same procedure with here also you can see rather than pasting it here i can upload a text or csv format the text also can contain email address cs can contain multiple date format and it will also give you an option to remove duplicate row also so if you have a csv file and text and you are wondering whether we, do i have a duplicate uh emails in that you don't need to worry that also you just click on tick here if all the columns if it's a csv is same because sometimes a email address can have multiple names or multiple details so if everything is same then it will remove that particular line here if it's a text also it's easily able to remove that and once you click on choose and start verification the same procedure which i just showed you will automatically happen here as well now let me go into the task and results basically this section will show all the task on verifying the email which is currently going around you can see i the task is almost finished it's already finished uh, i entered around 180 emails so when, let me go into first go into the detail screen and it will show you the completed percentage when it was started so runtime was how much runtime it shows how many emails are safe how many emails have a full inbox how many emails have a invalid uh, syntax so it shows the overall statistic of my email address and i can download all this so first i can have the option to download everything and it will have a column to show all the different stuff so if i want to download everything i just click on click on all and i can either download an excel format or csv you can see it uh, also shows that after 15 days of verification the files will be getting deleted 
when I download the Excel sheet, this is how I will get the data. I will get the email, username extracted, domain and also status with color coding which is good. And also it shows and rate all the different criteria here as well. So this is how the Excel uh, file will look like. We also have the option to export only save because sometimes we will need only save all the emails which can send emails because we don't want unnecessary uh, maybe risky emails, invalid, unknown even we don't want it. If you want something specific we can start sending emails the best option is to save uh, but if you also try to go a bit more you can include all these things and download and start doing all your campaigns here as well so that is what task results screen shows of uh, which is shows for the bulk emailing uh, campaigns we also have api and uh, integration this is where it gets interesting because not everyone will be using this kind of email verification tool just to do a bulk email uh, at a time or just doing single email at a time most will be we will be wanting to make it automation we have we want to connect it to email forms or any order procedures where we want to verify that email is correct or not dynamically on runtime so this is where it gets interesting they have multiple way if you have already uh, have a wordpress site they do support a native wordpress integration plugin here what we can do is we they have a plugin called rion email verifier so you go into your website i have already set up a dummy website to showcase all the features for you basically you install this particular email rion email verifier plugin it is available on the wordpress dashboard the plugin store itself you just install this plugin and go into the settings and it will ask you to enter a api key you can create a api key from here create new test i will be deleting all these api keys so you don't need to worry about it so you get this particular code here just copy paste copy this and paste it here and click activate and it will automatically activate this account for you once that is done now you have two option one is quick mode quick mode is very fast almost half a second it will verify that email for you but if your person would okay to go the extra second to make sure that you do much more in-depth analysis of email verification then you can turn on the power mode option this is entirely up to you whether you want quick mode or power mode just select the option whichever the one you want and email acceptance settings here you tick on all the emails you want to accept apart from the same safe email depending on which email address you want you just tick on all the option you want here and you can see natively they support all these forms for you they include most of the um, uh, contact form for wordpress from formidable form gravity you choose whichever the form you want to include just click on here and they have a custom error message for the form in case if email does not pass validation you can also retype this or maybe if it's in a foreign language you can use foreign language here and just to make sure whether your plugin is set up correctly and it's communicating with their servers correctly there's a test plugin setting so you can come here and type something okay in this case i am surprised it came up this as a valid so let me do one more time okay still it's valid so all these email exist that's what this plugin is trying to do i will do a comparison video soon with other email provider to see the actual uh, validity for all this so when i click on dashboard it will show you the dashboard of how many emails i have used you can see this automatically syncs up to my main account and it's also showing me site specific verification because i did upload a bulk email to the tool but that is not showing here whatever the things happening within the site it's showing me all the valid and invalid email address and how much time it took also shown here so that is how this plugin setting will show in order to do this uh, with the plugin uh, connected because i have set up a contact form i have installed a pre-default there is no settings involved at all just 
you need to tick on this specific screen uh tap that's it basically because i have created a contact screen here you just try to fill up something so i try to enter a invalid email so when i do that and when i click on submit you can see this error message pops up obviously you can use css and everything to make this nicer this email address is not allowed this is not uh, because of this contact uh, feature because it is follows a good email valid format but what happened was the your email verifications uh, came into play because now you can see the statistic shows 5 and if you see below that email address is added and it's showing as a invalid data here so that automatically when the com contact form was submitted it triggered this verifier and it shows that this email address has been invalid and gives the option to the user to enter another email address here so that is how you start using the uh, wordpress uh, functionality of that now we have the much more interesting use case of api this is where we can integrate email verification tools such as rion into any number of uh, softwares uh, third party tools or any pre existing sequences we can start using it they are given a very clear documentation of single email validation and a bulk email validation they have given an in depth uh, details on how we should start implementing it what are the details we will get what are the power mode uh, api will look like what is the quick mode api url will look like if you are unsure about anything what i would suggest is just copy paste every single text here and insert into chat gpt or any ai model and ask it to how i can connect with this thing or what are the explanation it will clearly guide you on the correct path i will show you a quick example of this api also for example what i did was i have pabli here i have a contact form which i have created using native form here what i did was i created a pabli workflow of capturing detail through a webhook so let me click on uh, recapture now it is waiting for a response this is the url what i did was i created a contact form or uh, let's assume this as a third party tool and i made sure when never let me update this when never a form uh, is submitted through this uh, let me i'm doing a survey i'm doing a forum uh, form question so something like that whenever this third party tool gets a data so i am submitting a message here this will capture that particular message you can see it captured that email all the thing i uh, there is a model since it does not have a direct integration with pabli you can see it thing these are the Uh, methods it support but does not matter if you have zapi or pabli there is a model called api here within api you can execute api uh, request so i have created a api pabli model made sure to get the get method and this is where it gets interesting there is something like a url endpoint if it's for quick mode this is the url if it for the power mode this is the url so i just copy paste this particular link here and within where it says email you just need to insert the pabli email let me do this again so i can show you uh, i am going to copy paste this i am going to delete all this i am going to make this as it is i just highlight where it shows email and i am going to select the email address when it says key i am going to highlight i am going to create a new key test to and create a new api key it is created i'm just going to just copy paste it because that is does not need to be changing every time only the email will be changing so once everything is done when i click on save and send request and see it automatically send that request to uh, email verification for example within task and results uh, i'm going into task and results there is a bulk verification results when i click on check api you can see uh, all the api calls which i did it's showing me here 
So this will show you like for example when I go to the next page you can see all the data I have been verifying all the things here. So what it does it it took this email you can see and came into this. So that is how I can start submitting the data here. Uh, just got confused a bit let me check. Okay, I took the wrong email uh, value here. That's what I just got confused. Like where this email actually coming from? It is the account email, which I do not want. I want to make sure I took the input value. So when I do that, now let me do the send request. And again, it did the valid request. Save it. I'm going to refresh it. You can see that API request has came through. It shows it as a valid. Now, once it is valid, I can do whatever the things want. What I usually do is I have a router section here where if it is a successful email or valid email, I want to do a set of tasks. So I make sure something like if it's valid equal to valid, do this action. If it's not valid, do another set of action, maybe to ask a different email or to have a different contact option or something like that. So that is how you set up API with any third party app. You can use any third party app or services to start using it. Credit history is where it will show you the results of how much I am using the credit, what are the balance, all the data is shown here. Obviously, buy credits give you an option to buy more credits. Profile just helps you to do a settings of this account. But so the, basically, that is how you can start using this particular tool. You can use it with single bulk API or WordPress. The use cases are where you actually made it possible like you think of a use case and you can start applying it but the key problem is we need to verify the actual deliverability or how it compares with other email providers which will be the next video for this particular tool in my channel where i will be trying to compare this uh, service uh, validity with something like dbound so do a same email uh, list comparison within this and that to see how well 